What's up developers, it's Dari here and welcome back to a new video where we will have a look at the difference between the find and find or fail method in Laravel. When working with Laravel, you might have come across situations where you need to retrieve a specific record from the database. Laravel provides two methods to accomplish this. It has the find method and it has the find or fail method. But before we do that, I got to mention that I just released my new databases and Eloquent course. Welcome to my Udemy course where we'll explore the ins and outs of Laravel's query builder, Eloquent ORM and relationships. We will start off by diving into migrations, seeders and factories to get a good understanding of databases. Then we will dive into the query builder where we will learn how to craft complex SQL queries using Laravel's elegant syntax. From there on, we will move on to Eloquent, Laravel's powerful ORM, which allows us to interact with our database using intuitive object-oriented syntax. Since we're on the topic of Eloquent, we will also explore relationships in Laravel, which allows us to define how our database tables are related to another, making it easy to retrieve and manipulate data across multiple tables, from simple relationships such as the one-to-one -one relationship, all the way to polymorphic relationships. By the end of this course, you will have a deep understanding of migrations, factories, seeders, the query builder, Eloquent ORM, and relationships, where you will be able to build a complex web application with ease. I'm looking forward to see you in this course. Now let's start off with the find method first. The find method is used to retrieve a record from the database based on its primary key. I have created a simple Laravel application where I'm going to use the default users table. What we can do right here is using our user model and access the find method. We do need to pass in one argument right here, which is the primary key of the record that you want to retrieve from the database. So let's retrieve a user where the primary key of ID is equal to one. In the output, you will see that we have retrieved a single user, which works fine. Now let's retrieve a user that does not exist inside our database. So let's change the primary key to 100. In the output, you will see that the find method returns null if the record being searched for does not exist in the database. And I've got a slight issue right here because I don't want my users that interact with my application to receive null. When working on web applications, well, actually on any type of application, you need to make sure that you provide enough information about the problem that occurs. And with the return value of null, the user might assume that the record does not exist in the database when in reality, there could be other reasons why null was returned, such as a problem with the database connection or a user that simply does not have enough permissions to access a specific record. Laravel obviously has a solution for that, which is the find or fail method, which we can use by using our user model and chaining the find or fail method to it, which also accepts the primary key of a record that you want to retrieve. So let's say 100, now, if a record does not exist using the find or fail method, it will return a model not found exception. But quick note, this exception is specific to Laravel and is not a regular PHP exception. Once we perform our request, you'll see that no query results for model user have been found and it has returned the model not found exception. You might wonder what the difference is with the model not found exception compared to the quote unquote regular exception. And the model not found exception is designed to be caught specifically when a record is not found in the database. This allows you to handle the exception in a more specific way, providing a meaningful error message to the user. While a regular exception can be thrown for a variety of reasons and may not provide as much information about the specific problem that occurred. If we change the primary key to 100, perform our request, you will see that we have retrieved the record in the same exact way as the find method. So you might be wondering which method you should use, and it honestly depends on your scenario. If you are certain that the record you are retrieving exists in the database, you can simply use the find method. However, if there is a possibility that the record does not exist, I recommend using the find or fail method. This way, you can handle the exception and provide a meaningful error message to the user. Quick summary, both the find and find or fail methods in Laravel are used to retrieve records from the database based on the primary key, the find method returns null if the record does not exist, while the find or fail method throws an exception. I personally think that it's better to use the find or fail method if there is a possibility that the record does not exist. Finally, it's also better to receive an error message than sending back null, because an error message provides more information about the problem. 
Thank you for watching this video and I hope that you found it helpful. If you do like my content and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.